Hello. How do you know how much carbon dioxide you're putting into the atmosphere? You hear people talking about tons of CO2 being released into the atmosphere, but you don't buy fuel by the ton. You don't pay for it by the ton. It comes in liters. If you're outside the US, which most of us are, but not me. So I want to tell you a way to convert liters that you're buying into the amount of carbon dioxide that's coming out of your tailpipe. How do you take that information about what's going into your tank and figure out how much carbon dioxide is going out of the tail? And I'll show you how. Let's, let's start with the very basics, okay? So first off, you probably already know that one liter of, ga um, of water is equal to one kilogram, right? And you're off to the races. That's a horrible looking one, isn't it? Um, let's go with it, though. So. You have one kilogram per liter, but that's water. Now, gasoline has a density of 0 0.703. Gasoline is less dense than water. That's why they tell you not to try to put out a gasoline fire with water because the water will all end up under the gasoline that still will be burning. But that's not neither here nor there. So you multiply the, that together, and you find that one liter of gasoline has a mass of 0 0.703 kilograms. Now, is that the amount of carbon you're putting up in the air? No, because gasoline, speaking of gasoline, gasoline is not all carbon. There's carbon, eight atoms of carbon, and 18 atoms of hydrogen. So we got to actually figure out how much of that 0 0.703 kilograms is the actual carbon. So the way you do that is you basically take the carbon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight of them. Each carbon has a molar weight of 12. So eight times 12 is 96 out of, well, what is the total? Well, that's 96 plus 18 hydrogen. Each hydrogen is much lighter than carbon, only molar weight of one. So the total molar weight of the entire molecule is 96 plus 18, which gives you, oh boy, my mind is stopped. I wrote it down, fortunately. 114. So 96 grams out of 114 grams for one mole of gasoline is carbon. So multiply that together, and you find that of that 0 0.73 kilograms, you end up with 0 0.592 kilograms of carbon in your liter of gasoline. Now, let's take that a little further. So, if you burn that, you don't get 0 0.592 kilograms of carbon dioxide. Here's the reason why. Every carbon, when you break it away from the gasoline, combines with two atoms of oxygen. And the masses are, are interesting here. So the carbon we said was 12, the oxygen has a mass of 16. So 16 and 16 is 32, plus the 12. So if we compare that, so we have a total of 44, the carbon, the total mass of the, car, of, of the carbon dioxide is 44 that you get out um, over 12 put in. So we have 0 0.592 kilograms that are carbon in the gasoline. You multiply that by 44 over 12 to find out how much carbon dioxide you're going to get when you burn that. And you find that you end up with 2.17 kilograms of carbon dioxide. Yes, the carbon dioxide coming out of the tailpipe of your car is heavier than the fuel you put in. And the reason why is because most of the weight is in the air that is sucked into your engine. That oxygen is heavier than the fuel. You don't notice that because the fuel is a liquid and gas is a gas. But the carbon dioxide coming out of your engine is actually more than the weight of the fuel going in makes you think. Now, 
if you want to, so for every liter of gasoline that you burn, you produce 2.17 kilograms of carbon dioxide. Let's just take this a step further. So a metric ton is 1,000 kilograms, and if you want to know how many liters it takes to get 1,000 kilograms, well, you just divide that by 2.17 kg, and you're going to find that you end up with 400 and six, roughly 461 liters. That's the amount of gasoline that you need to burn to produce a ton of CO2. Um, so now you know. If you want to try to figure out how many tons of CO2 you're putting into the air every time you go fill up your car, you now know. Simply multiply the number of liters by 2.17 and you'll know exactly how much carbon dioxide burning that tank will produce. I hope this has been helpful. Have a nice day.